What is up everyone, JD here. I hope you're all doing well today. Today I'm really excited to bring you another new knife unboxing. Today's unboxing knife is actually going to be my Spyderco Indela. This one here is the exclusive from DLT with CPM 20 CV, which is coded. I appreciate the fact that it is coded because of the fact that it will help with the corrosive resistance. I really do like this lockback. I have not been into lockbacks too heavy before now, but I am really enjoying it and they are very satisfying to use um, and deploy and very slicey in this instance. I just completely missed <laughs> the side of the box and started to cut through the cardboard. Let's see here. Do I have everything open? Yep, perfect. Going to set it to the side for now. Hope that I don't need it again. Let's dive in and see what we got in the box. If it's an invoice, you're going to see a cutaway. All right, looks like it's just the package. Perfect, 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 perfect. No quinky dink. I used the Indela to open this particular box, and it is kind of my motivation behind it. As you can see here, I did open, open, <laughs> order a Delica, another made in Japan knife. I wanted to check it out because I do enjoy the Indela so much, and I've been very curious about the Delica because of the size. So this one here to me is a much more smaller knife lightweight in size and again it does have that lock back as you can see i did get the zombie green i thought it'd be really fun to do something with drab green and black mixed together it is another lock back that is four-way pocket clip adjustable and as you can see here seki city japan design vg 110 blade steel i have never owned a vg 110 blade steel and i've heard very good things about it the other thing that i liked about the delica is this kind of reminds me in size of like my doug ritter mini rsk mk1 that type size the mini beluga so i wanted a, a lock back in this size and just for a, a quick size reference because this is just an unboxing video i want to spend some time with the knife cutting with it and experiencing vg 110 because it is my first knife that i've ever had with this steel so i want to spend a little bit of time with it be able to understand it and give you my full impressions so if you are interested in that don't forget to subscribe turn that notification bell to all so you get alerts when any video is dropping you can pick and choose which ones you watch and that'll give you the opportunity to watch out for this review to come back and check it out so just a really quick size reference and then i'm going to wipe some of that grease off the indela as you can see is more of a full size knife as you can see it does hang out the back a little bit and the Delica is more of right in that medium spot for full finger grip that's going to fit in there and I'll make sure I found some really good knives for frame of reference so that you can have an idea of what it compares well to that you may be more familiar with if you don't have a Delica and I suspect that if you have a Delica or you're a Delica fan you may be checking out this unboxing video I really do like these little knives. I'm not usually big on FRN handles, but the bi-directional pattern that Spyderco uses with these do feel really nice and very well made. Um, they don't feel very cheap and plasticky like you would think. So when you get them in hand, they're actually quite nice to use and they have a really good pattern and this color really pops off the lighting that I have here and on this camera. And I'm just letting you all have a quick look around so you can kind of see everything. You know what is also kind of impressive to me? How that backspacer just seems to match so well. I don't know if maybe they cut it all from the same piece, then go back and slice it all apart and reassemble it together. But that really impressed me because I noticed that as I was carrying the Andela as well, it looks like it matches up perfectly i love that attention to detail not something that you would normally see from a lesser quality manufacturer so i do really like that and spider Co does a fantastic with their edges and their coating so i am very excited about the one um, vg 110 i think the only thing that i kind of wish is that they would have blacked out the hardware like that's the first thing that jumps out to me but like almost any other spider Co that i've ever held I mean, they may not look 
fantastic or jaw dropping, but when you get them in hand, they just feel so good. And I'm really excited about this. Part of me now that I have it in hand is kind of wondering if this will actually work as a fifth pocket too. Um, one more quick thing before I wrap up guys. I think the other thing, <laughs> I don't know how many times I've just said thing in that sort of <laughs> that short amount of time. But uh, one more point. It is actually, so we're in this world where everything's kind of drop shut, fall shut, and has this hydraulic smooth deployment to it, but there's still something really satisfying about slow rolling a knife open that gives you a very consistent experience with open and closing the knife. So I, I just got to say, I do enjoy that. While I do love the bearings, and even when you get a knife manufacturer, for example, like Benchmade, that is able to put something on phosphor bronze washers, and even Spyderco itself and other lines, where you can do these phosphor bronze washers, and have these hydraulically smooth glassy action knives it's super impressive and i really do like that experience but i guess because i really wasn't always into it and my finger keeps slipping off the pocket clip um i wasn't really into it prior until i got my chris reeve and then i kind of was wondering you know how much would i enjoy it so i picked up a buck 110 because i thought it'd be a very good USA representative of a budget knife that you can get made in America for a affordable price that is competitive with the Chinese manufacturers. And I found like, you know, it's actually quite satisfying to, to slow roll it. So I kind of get what they're saying when some of the folks tell me, you know, open it with the thumb hole and the slow roll and what that's all about. And I kind of get it. It's just a different experience and it's very fun. But anyway, that's the unboxing. I did not mean to ramble at the end. Have a fantastic week, guys. Until next time, peace.